everybody, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to film you guys a quick video, film for you guys a quick video, um, which is going to be an updated, uh, what's in my bag autism edition. Um, I am an autistic girl and I film videos about books and autism here on this channel. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, um, please feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and um, please, please, please hit that bell notification so that you are up, you are notified every time I upload a new video. I don't always have the spoons or the energy to um, to upload on a regular schedule, so. I just don't hold myself to that anymore um, because it was causing meltdowns and burnout and all kinds of bad effects. So I just um, film. I film when I feel like filming and when I feel like uploading. Um, I do try to film and upload as much as I can um, for you guys, but uh, sometimes I just I can't always do it all. So um, it's very important that you do hit that bell notifications so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so I guess without further ado, you guys all know about what's in my bag videos. We all know why we're here, so let's just get into it. Okay, so this is my new bag. I absolutely love it. Let's see if I can get a better, better view of it there. And I'm going to turn you guys around, but I just wanted to show you guys that's the bag. This is, it is a, um, cro it does have a, it has two handles, so it can be carried um, in your hand, or it does have a crossbody strap. Um, it is adjustable, which I love, um, so that it can be shortened um, and then carried as a shoulder bag, but I prefer to just leave it long. Um, I've been wanting a bag with a strap like this for quite some time, so I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I found it today at Value Village. I absolutely love it. It is so fantastic. And, um, yeah, I've definitely, I've gone from a backpack to this. So I've definitely downsized quite a bit. Um, and so I am going to go through and show you guys what is in my bag. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go through and show you guys what is in my bag. Um, okay, so I guess without further ado, let's just get into it. I am going to pause the video so that I can flip the camera around so that you guys can get a better viewpoint and then I will show you guys the contents of what I carry with me on a daily basis to help me with sensory things um, and what have you. So, okay, I will see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so we're back. Um, so obviously, Usually my phone and the charger that is currently connected to my phone would be in here as well. Um, but obviously they're not in here because I'm using my phone to film. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so we'll start with the outside of the bag. Um, it is a Kipling brand bag, which I really like. I really like this brand. Um, they make really, really nice bags. Very good quality. Um, you can tell the stitching here like you can just you can tell it's just it's excellent excellent quality uh, you can tell that they make very kind of heavy-duty bags well I sorry I wouldn't say heavy-duty they're actually very very light um, this bag when I pick it up like it's actually very light for a bag um, the material is quite light but it's just it's really really good um, no, I'm not sure if this material is water resistant. It feels like it might be. Um, I'll have to check into that and see if it's uh, water resistant. And we've got also the, the Kipling branding there, as well as on the zip 
zippers. Yeah, so as I was saying, it has the two carry handles, as you can see. We've got the Kipling branding again on the handles and, or on the one handle anyway. Is this on the other handle? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's it's on both. It's on both handles, the branding. Um. And then we've got this nice matching fabric um, crossbody strap. I like straps that are made out of this kind of fabric, this kind of woven fabric. Um, I don't know why, I just prefer them. Um, and you can see we just got the Kipling branding on there again with the star. It's got this, this slider so that it can slide to shorten this strap so it can be used as a shoulder bag. I prefer to leave it long because if I'm walking or whatever, I like to use a crossbody. Okay, so let's start with the outside of the bag. So the first thing I have on the outside of the bag is Mr. Toadstool. I found this um, hand sanitizer little dispenser thing um, at the dollar store. Um, it had unscented hand sanitizer in it. Um, I've just been refilling the same container with, um, we do have some hand sanitizer at home, not a lot because we don't use a lot. Um, we generally just wash our hands, which is better anyway, but, um, with everything going on when I'm out and about, um, it is nice to have that sort of added security of having my own sort of small thing of hand sanitizer. And if you look, I'll just show you here, um, the Mr. Toadstool cover, um, if you look, it actually comes off of the hand sanitizer bottle. So then we've got, this is what's left over. So you can actually, if you can find these small bottles, you can actually put a, a new bottle in. Um, yeah. And I just really, really like the frog on there, and I've always imagined him sitting on a toadstool. I don't know why, I just do. I always imagine him sitting on a little toadstool. So I went ahead and named him Mr. Toadstool. Sorry guys, you guys are gonna have to look at the couch for a second. Uh, that is the neighbor's dog. Ugh, drives me nuts. Okay, so. Um, yeah, okay guys, so that was Mr. Toadstool. Now let's move on to the front pocket. So if I, um, hang on here, I just gotta open this up so that my phone stops being a brat. Okay. All right, so moving on to the front pocket, um, this is my wallet. I'm not really sure what this whole mud thing is, but I really, really like it. Um, I got this at Valley Village today as well. Um, it's just a basic wallet with a snap closure. Um, yeah, I really like it. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, I don't know what this mud TM thing is, but what I do know, I'll have to look that up, but what I do know is that the hand on it, like the skeleton hand. I don't know, for some reason it makes me think of Criminal Minds. I don't know why, but it makes me think of like Criminal Minds, CSI, like that kind of stuff. And I absolutely love that kind of, that kind of thing. So um, it's something I love reading about. I love watching um, shows about it, uh, especially Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is one of my favorites. Um, I like the Unexplained uh, podcast as well. But I, I just love the symbol. It just, it's, it's so spooky to me. And I really, really love spooky stuff. If you know me, I love Halloween. Um, the other thing too is that, the other thing I love about this bag is, so uh, this bag, I'm not really a big pink fan. And I know that's kind of weird because this bag has a lot of pink in it. But um, it also has a lot of other colors that balance it. So... And when something has like a lot of different colors in it, and it's really quite busy, um, I love that. Um, visually, 
it's visually it's stimmy good for me um i really really enjoy it uh quite a bit um even if i'm feeling a little bit overstimulated um it just reminds me of happy fun things like kind of makes me think of like um like like a um not a fair but like a um like a water park or something like a theme park with all the different colors and stuff or like like a concert with the different colored lights and things i don't know it just it makes me think of things that are happy and fun like polka dots i love polka dots too <laughs> like polka dot shorts and stuff like that i don't know it, it just makes me think of things that are happy and fun and joyful and that i really love so yeah so sorry we kind of moved on to the first pocket but okay so if i open this I'm just going to cover up my ID there because you don't need to see my information. But um, this is, you can see, just cards. And then it has a change purse. Um, it has more spaces for cards in here. Um, that's my ID there. Um, so, yeah. So... So yeah, so that's the um, wallet that I just got today. I love it. Um, I absolutely love it. I also like the fact that it has this keychain here. So if I really wanted to, I could hang it on my keys. Not that I ever would or hang my keys on it. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. All right, guys, it's just, it's really, really difficult to do this one-handed for me. Um, okay. Just put it in like so. Up. Yeah, it, it's a lot easier to do this with both hands free. Um, doing zippers up is not easy um, one-handed, so I'll deal with that after. Um... So the other thing that I got on the outside, and this guy came with the um, with the Kipling bag. Um, I, the one thing I love about Kipling is that each bag that they come with comes with a little keychain with a little character on it. So there was one, another one that was a solid green, like an army green, and it had a little monkey on it. Um, this guy it has a a yeti. <laughs> Or what I like to think of as a, as a Yeti. Um, his name is Louise. Um, I absolutely love him. And oh my god. He's so fuzzy. And he's just great to stim with. Um, he has his thumb out on. You can see he's making this kind of O with his mouth. And he has his thumb out, so you can actually, if you stick the thumb, the thumb does actually go in there, so he, he actually does suck on his thumb. Um, it's hard to do it with one hand, but you get the idea. The thumb does actually fit in there, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, um, just his fur, he's so soft and fuzzy, and oh, I just love him. I love just, like... Like, I love mythical creatures, and, like, yetis are actually one of my favorites. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm so, so, so happy that I got him. I love all kinds of mythical creatures, though. So, yeah, but, oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so happy that I got him. Um, I think it's a him. I know it says Louise, but I'm saying it's a him. I, I, I call him Louie. I'm calling him Louie. The... Yeti, Louis the Yeti. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, so that's that. Then, of course, with it being pandemic time, I have my mask. This is the one that I have right now. I also have another one with uh, unicorns on it. Um, that one's in my van right now or well my husband's van right now so i have that one and then i have in here as well i have this other 
just one. It's a around the head style um, rather than behind the ears. This, this one. Um, so obviously you need the mask for obvious reasons. Um, okay. So now uh, we're going to move on to the large pocket. So in here I have <coughs> my iPad, sixth generation iPad. Um, this is one that I just recently got. Um, I only paid like $90 for it um, and it still works. Uh, the girl cleared it and everything. For me and she took all the activation locks and everything off like it's it works fine my problem with it is this is the state of the screen at the moment um so i am i do have an appointment to get this screen replaced with a local guy who does tech repair um so i will be getting the screen replaced before i go to use it very much but as you can see i've already set it up for myself Um, yeah, you can see I've already kind of set it up for myself. Put my passcode in. You can see um, I can watch stuff on it. I can watch things on it. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, it, it is it is usable. Um, it just really badly needs the screen replaced. So, yeah, I am excruciatingly happy about that. I am so happy about it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Moving right along. Also in my big pocket, another one of my favorite devices ever is my most favorite devices ever is of course my lovely uh hang on here boot up is my lovely uh e-reader it's just booting up turning on um, there you go. You can see the books I've been that I have on here so far. Um, I just recently got this e-reader, so I do need to move a lot of like I need to get a lot of my books onto my e-reader. I need to start buying books via ebook um, and get them on my e-reader so that I always have them, um, so that I can always read them. Um, as I go along okay and I mean obviously I'm still going to be adding to my physical book collection of course because then I know for a fact I'll always have them um, but I do love my ebooks um, especially for on the go um, sometimes sensory wise if I'm starting to feel overwhelmed I will just sort of pull out an ebook and I will put on my headphones and I will just sit and read um, and it's just, it's great. Okay, so the next thing that I have, I still have to take the price tag off of this. Oh, I'll just flip it around. Okay, so the next thing that I have in here is this super cute little water bottle. Um, you can see my hand for size reference. Um, it's very, very small, um, but it holds just enough water to have, um, so the, the water bottle is one of the first things that I keep in this kit um, in my bag. So this is kind of like an emergency sensory kit. Um, I keep just a few things in here, um, just things to help me when I'm overwhelmed, when I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, some things that I'm going to be keeping in here are still are on their way. So they're not actually in here as of yet. Um, so, um, but I will get to that uh, closer to the end of the video. So anyway, so we have this cute little water bottle. Uh, not a big fan of the pink lid, but hey, it does the job. It's the perfect size. Um, 
so I like that to remind me to drink water. I also have in here a clicks fidget. Normally I have a tangle. Um, this is actually my husband's clicks fidget. Um, normally I do have a tangle in here. Um, I'm just not sure where my tangle is at the moment, so I have to find it. So this is my hubby's clicks fidget. I have that he is letting me borrow. I also, of course, have to have at least one more soft toy, so I keep this pom-pom uh, in here. It's great just for moving around, and I rub it on my face, and yeah, it's just, it's really, really comforting and very soothing. And then, of course, um, I have to always have a snack on me, just in case I forget to eat. Um, or if I'm somewhere where I don't have the money to eat or, or something happens, not that that ever really happens anymore. Um, it did happen once though when I was out west, uh, I was flying home and I didn't get a chance to go to the bank before I went to the airport and so I ended up not having money on me to buy food um, and the debit machines were all down, which was brilliant. Um, but that's another story. So, but I always, always keep um, at least one sort of snacky thing on me that I know that I can eat and that I will eat. Um, so right now it is the Welch's um, fruit snacks. I have one of these on me. Okay, next thing that is in here is my headphones. Now these are the black web um sport headphones um so they're the earbud style with the neck um not the neck band but like the cord that attaches them both um hang on here i'll just open it up for you so you can see they're um they're these kind um i am getting a pair of truly wireless earbuds um they're going to be the Sound Pete's True Shift 2. Um, I'm also getting my husband a pair of MPOW um, headphones that are like these, and also a pair of MPOW uh, Truly Wireless earbuds. And yeah, so that's it. Um, so in here, um, these will end up being just sort of in my purse. Um, and my truly wireless earbuds will be in there as well as a pair of earplugs that I'm getting for myself as well because sometimes I just need the quiet. Um, I just need to block out noise and still kind of feel present with myself um, and not have the overwhelm of music on top of it all. But sometimes I need the distraction of, and stimulation of the music. So, And last... Oh, wait. Okay, so the other thing I keep in here is I keep a couple of um, tote bags in the bottom of my purse just in case I, these are just tote bags, um, just in case I'm out and about and I decide I need to do a little bit of impromptu shopping. Um, for whatever reason, I have then tote bags to use. Um, good for me, good for the environment. Um, the other cool thing about this, and this is something that I've always wanted on my on my purses, and I've never gotten to have a purse with one before, so I'm so excited. And that is this little um, keychain um, clip. Um, I'm very, very excited to have this because it means I will never lose my keys because um, they will always be attached to the inside of my purse. Okay, so that is it for that. Okay, moving right along. So now we're getting into the um, kind of inside flappy pocket. Inside uh, flappy pocket. Um, so in here I have just um, my other um, iPad slash iPhone charger. Um, I have my charger for my... Um, Apple Watch, this is the Apple Watch charger, and then of course I have a um, micro USB for charging my um, e-reader, 
Um, I also have a micro USB um, in my headphone case. Um, my truly wireless headphones will come with a USB Type-C charger, so they will charge with the new USB Type-C. Um, so, but that will stay with those. And then I also have in here this little um, dollar store pouch. Uh, they really didn't have very many options. And I know this is really girly and I'm not super girly myself. Uh, not a huge fan of like the whole lipstick and everything on here. But the only other ha one they had was just a straight black. And this one had a unicorn on it. So I obviously had to pick this one because it had a mythical creature. Um, yeah, so the only thing I keep in here really is um, just some Advil and Tylenol. Um, I do sometimes get some pain, so it's good to have. And then a couple of uh, just feminine hygiene things. Okay, so, and, um, yeah, so that's about it. That is what I will be keeping on me in my bag, uh, from now on. So, um, let me know down in the comments, uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, seeing what I'm going to be keeping on me and with me, um, if you have any suggestions, um, Obviously, I've downsized to this from a backpack, so this will be a lot easier to carry around and won't be nearly as heavy, um, which is great for me because I get very lethargic and get very tired very easily. So, so I'm very, very um, excited about, uh, about getting this um, going. So, yeah, so let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys would like to see more videos like this in the future, I can certainly do that. And um, yeah, so I always end these videos with a question. So I've already asked about favorite number, favorite animal, favorite color, favorite food, um, favorite drink. Um, so I'm going to end this video asking about what is your favorite genre of music. Um, please, please, please let me know down in the comments what is your favorite genre of music and why. And I will see you all next time. So I'm going to just turn you guys back around. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Alright guys, bye!